to us. So quality sleep and health. So do you have quality sleep every single night? Or are you uh, having a lot of stress, tension, pressure that make you can't sleep? Or probably some people have insomnia and all kinds of uh, uh, what we say um, stress now because of uh, uh, this uh, virus uh, attack on this earth. Okay, I make it like attack on this earth. So make a lot of people, you no, know, heart beat <laughs> extra, like we say palpitation. You know? A lot of people are having stress, tension, pressure now due to this uh, COVID-19. Yeah. So quality sleep is very, very important. Yeah. So sleep is the best tonic for body cells repairing. You see, your handphone, your handphone battery drain, you know, when you use for whole day, maybe sometime your handphone already used for some time, maybe after two years normally, or even less than two years, your handphone battery, your were uh, already gone in very very low stage you know very i would say not in that good condition as a new handphone same thing like us as a human being our body like me my body has been used for considered as nearly 58 years so my body condition condition is it good is it up to health, good health quality? Well, you see, our handphone same. After two years later, even our car, you know, we need every 5,000, we need to go for service or 7,500 going for service or even 10,000 going for service. Do you, your body do overhaul or recondition in the good manners? Eh? So, best way for us is to keep out good health is quality sleep. For me, I say quality sleep. Yeah. Secondly, we need to have balanced diet. And then third, we need to have good, uh, what we say, exercise. Like my age, better do light exercise. No more heavy duty exercise. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And then... Uh, uh, stay away from uh, what we say stress stress free is best uh, so a lot of people now under stress because of this covid virus yeah so you look at this lady you look at the clock behind yeah it's 3 a.m in the morning so she wonder why she can't sleep so didn't sleep for one whole night can be replaced by 10 nights sleep. There's a Chinese saying, So if you don't sleep for one whole night, you cannot be replaced by 10 nights. You know, why? Later, we talk about it more. Yeah? So come sleep whole night, daytime looks tired and yawning right and people look at you hey tony you don't sleep well last night you have this cold panda eyes well mine i have the this cold black black eye okay always why because of genetic but uh, now i look better my looks uh, so they call me as panda eyes okay <laughs> so sleep is like battery charging Good sleep, full of energy. If you, you see, if you, during your sleep, if you get up maybe more than three times the whole night's sleep, do you think you have a good sleep, good quality sleep? Not at all. So if you don't even get up for a pee, 
no need to go to the toilet one whole night through probably you sleep around 11 p.m and then you sleep whole night through 6 to 7 a.m you wake up you feel really fresh yeah this is important we say sleep okay what happened when you don't sleep for a day let's discuss about it right this is from the expertise they do some research on sleep yeah if you don't sleep for a day or a night yeah daytime fatigue and sleepiness you you feel sleepy during daytime right you feel very weak probably your face look people look at you knowing that you don't really really sleep well you are lack of energy uh, people uh, talking to you properly you get angry easy yeah because people though those who don't really sleep well uh, they 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 are easy you know getting angry yeah so difficulty concentrating so when you are doing your work when you work for people or even though you are a even you are a boss huh? you work at your office yeah probably at your work you don't feel like you are really focused on your job at all yeah and may probably you make mistake here and there yeah and then poor memory well it's true if you don't sleep well a lot of uh, things you tend to forget okay and then increase appetite wow looks like if you can't sleep okay you like to eat a lot okay if you like properly you like sweet food sweet food a lot yeah and then followed by okay let's check eh? Uh, we call it as weakened immune system, yeah? Weakened immune system. And then followed by mood swing irritability. So you tend to have bad mood and probably, I know, people say uh, like, uh, are you quarreling with your wife or husband last night? Or <laughs> this and that. Uh, probably you don't feel good at all, yeah? So diminish coordination and decision making skill. So you 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 don't people talk to you well want you to do something or maybe want you to get along with or uh, properly you don't feel like you want to. Even making some decision you feel like don't know want or not. Because probably you have a bad night's sleep, a lot of things not in your mood you know? so a lot of times we are doing things uh, with mood <laughs> so remember when you sleep your body has a chance to refresh and restore itself after a day of stressors meaning that when whole day you work probably today you are very busy at night you need to have a good sleep don't bring your work home yeah just whatever not finished i mean your work just let it be you know tonight you must have a good sleep that is that is very 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 important yeah so encourage to sleep before 10 p.m yeah but some expertise say it's best is 11 p.m. It's not wrong. So if you want to sleep at 11 p.m., you cannot go to your room and then you directly, and then you lie down, you sleep straight ahead, right? So probably you get to your bedroom at 10 p.m. and then probably, uh, you know, relax a while, you listen to some music, good music, and then you get to sleep. So in fact once you close your eyes your liver start to work already so that's why we say 
11 p.m. 11 p.m. to 2, sorry, 11 p.m. to 2 a.m., correct? Yeah, 11 p.m. to 2 a.m., the Gao brother, organ, yeah? And then our, these are liver, the time they really do full force of work, yeah? Okay, let's sleep early, wake up early, help strengthen your immune system. This is true. When you have good sleep, you have good immune system. Increase the ability to fight against viruses full of energy at work. So that's why we see you need to have good quality sleep. Then you have good immune system. So now we are having a war with these uh, viruses. So we need to have good immune system. So we need to have charge up all our body all the time. So what is this organ? Uh, this uh, we call liver, red one, okay? And then green one we call uh, gallbladder, yeah? A lot of uh, people now having this called gallbladder stones, yeah? The, the worst is uh, the gallbladder tubes, huh? uh, having the stone. That one you need to go to see the surgeon uh, urgently, yeah? to remove the stone yeah so a lot of people having uh, liver problem now yeah especially chinese yeah? especially chinese i have studied about this uh, china uh, the 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 province of Can canton eh? the more uh, uh half, mean, meaning that out of 10 people uh, five of them are having this called liver problem Probably because of their food, probably they drink a lot of liquor. I, I don't know. Yeah, properly. Yeah. So you see, 11 p.m. Yeah, to 2 a.m., these two organs start to work already. Yeah. Do you really sleep at that time? Or people say, I sleep early, but yeah, early is early. 1 a.m. in the morning, 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. in the morning. That's called early sleep. In fact, that is wrong. Our liver start to do their job. Once you close your eyes, liver start to work. Yeah. Sleep well, good mood. Nourish the liver. Huh? When you sleep well, you have good mood. Nourish the liver. Light meal. Protect the liver. When you are having light meal all the time, once in a while you, you pampered yourself to have good heavy meal, it's okay. Right? But not always heavy meal. Yeah? All the fried, oily, grilled, bad food, hot, spicy food. In fact, that is not good. Yeah? So, we need to have light meal all the time if you want to take care of yourself. Uh, like just now, I answer one question. People ask me, can he do this uh, 18672 light fasting program? Every single day, he drink one can of beer. I say, sorry, temporarily cannot. So you need to replenish yourself. You need to follow my instructions strictly for two months. After that, yeah, only you can do this uh, light fasting program. Why? Every single day, one can. According to the research, huh? if he or she drink one can of beer, that is, one can of beer is equal to 450 ml. If he can drink for 10 years, Meaning that the liver already caused inflammation. Yeah. If getting along 20 years, eh, probably the liver already go into the cirrhosis stage. Yeah. It's hardening, start to harden already. Uh, scary, yeah. So if you do regular exercise three to five times a day, like me, I do exercise nearly every day, unless it's raining. Yeah. I do it every Nearly every day. Regular exercise, liver protection. Liver protection. 
Uh, that is the, 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 the words that to help us sleep well, good mood, nourish the liver. Light meal, protect the liver. Regular exercise, liver protection, yeah? So scientifically, yeah, scientifically, everyone should sleep according to their age, uh, age bang. As long as you don't feel sleepy during the day, then it's okay. So different age have different sleeping hours, yeah? What we say, which hours, uh, how many hours is enough for that person according to the age? Yeah, scientifically, yeah. So age 13 to 29, we call it as young people. Yeah. Daily sleep around eight hours is good enough. So just think about it. Now, modern people, do they really sleep eight hours a day? Most of them don't. Yeah, especially those living in the city. Yeah, they don't. They don't sleep around eight hours. If you if you uh, go to uh, those uh, kampong kampong area, normally they probably sleep around nine p.m. or even we say before ten p.m. Then they get up, wake up early in the morning, maybe six to seven a.m. Yeah, they need to go to the farm to do their work already. Yeah, adults age between thirty to sixty. Uh, I'm at this bench, yeah, me. Daily sleep around seven hours is good enough. Like me, I always sleep around 11 p.m. Like tonight, probably a bit late because I have this session. Yeah. So uh, today I have a lot of questions. People throw a lot of questions to me to answer. Wow, I had to prepare this session in the right manners. Yeah. So third, elderly people age 60 and above. Daily sleep around 5.5 hours to 7 hours is good enough. Okay, so normally elderly people don't need to sleep that long. Right? Okay, we look at baby. Newly born baby. Daily sleep is 14 to 16 hours. Baby, yeah? That's why they say baby every two hours they start to cry. Ah! And then they start to call mommy, mommy. They can't call her. Uh, they, they from they are crying. Yeah. They inform you that he or she is hungry or they want to drink milk. After drinking milk, sleep again. Uh, so newly born baby daily sleep 14 to 16 hours. Newly born must not sleep less than 11 hours. Otherwise, will affect their you know, normal development especially their brains uh, according to the research our brain uh, baby uh, brain the 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 fully growth brain is around age nine nine yeah so poor living habit reduce sleep quality so we had to pay more attention on few things before sleep yeah this is our uh, what we say important parts that we need to learn yeah so don't sleep drunk what do we mean by that sorry especially those drinking group eh? then they say if i don't drink i cannot sleep you see there are certain group are like that if i don't drink i cannot sleep well if you have this kind of habit well i i encourage you to cut your beer down or liquor down well it's bad for our liver i already mentioned just now well i bought strenuous exercise before going to bed when you want to go to bed you don't go for heavy duty exercise you can do some light exercise or stretching out or some a little of uh, meditation or some move like yoga uh, that will be okay but some yoga move is quite strenuous yeah yeah so eat early for dinner and eat less so which hour is best for your dinner so my suggestion is before 7 p.m that's better but a lot of uh, people living in city area is normally eat after seven even eight or nine yeah 
So those who eat early, uh, they also like to go out for supper again. <laughs> That's bad. That's bad. Okay. So eat early for dinner and eat less. You see, uh, for those some uh, elderly people, when they have this called knee cap or knee pain, yeah, or some, what well, we say, blood circulation problem, I ask them to soak in the hot, warm water around 40 degrees. So around 8 p.m., need to do that. So if they eat 7.30 and they want to soak their legs in the warm water, can they do that? No, no good. Yeah, At least break for around two hours, that will be best. Yeah, that would be best. So it is not a good habit to watch TV and fall asleep. Especially don't watch and sit and fall asleep. Do you have this kind of experience? <laughs> Ask yourself. Well, watch TV, then TV watch you. Not you watch TV. At the end, you fall asleep. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then pajamas should be loose and not too thick. Especially in Malaysia, Singapore. Well. In this area, Indonesia area, well, pajamas, we don't need to wait that thick. Well, if you can, naked sleep will be best. <laughs> that will be best. Well, later I tell you why. Yeah. So couples do not face to face, eh? face each other during sleep. Okay? Husband and wife, when they sleep, they like to talk, 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 talk before sleep, right? At the end, they fall asleep together. At the end, all the brave, eh? come out from their body. That is called toxic already. When you exhale, inhale, oh, uh, both sides, uh, you know, both sides are having a, what we say, bad air. Uh, so don't face each other and sleep. That's not good. Yeah? You, 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 your body discharge off a lot of, uh, what we say, toxic from your body, in fact. Uh, especially uh, according to the research, uh, especially uh, uh, our our lungs uh, discharge is around 4 a.m. in the morning. So that's why a lot of uh, ha people having cough during that hour cough badly some more. So if they cough badly, they don't know. They thought that today I went to see doctor, doctor gave me cough syrup, then I drink extra more during that hour. It's wrong. You should let it cough. Cough is to discharge off. Yeah? That is the right way for our, our lungs. Instead of you, you drink cough syrup and then try to stop the cough, that is wrong. Yeah? You keep all the toxic inside. Yeah? Seven, remove all accessories before going to bed. Yeah? Remove the makeup and take off bra too. That's especially for ladies, those who do makeup, ICI, a lot of painting here and there. You need to yeah, remove it. Yeah? Remove your makeup. Yeah. If, you know, if you wear bra at night, yeah, I think it's bad. Yeah? Should be take off you know, and then make yourself more comfort. Yeah? That is for blood circulation, especially for ladies' uh, breasts. Yeah? So remove all the accessories, all the earrings, this and that. The, the, the rings, you have to put it outside. Yeah, that's important. Yeah, pillow height should be moderate. Right? You must get the right pillow, no? So, well, if you can, you know, a lot of people having this neck problem or spinal problem. Well, they, they, they tend to have this call, we say, uh, 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 once they get up in the morning, they 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 properly having this call. Chinese call it lao chen. Uh, so in English, I don't know what is that. Uh, probably somebody help me. <laughs> okay. Uh, it probably will 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 change to you know move to one side that you cannot move to the other side. I had this experience before. So number nine, keep a good mood before going to bed. Is it important to keep a good mood? If you have bad mood, how? Then learn to listen to good music. Yeah. And then uh, see some motivates, uh, lyrics or whatever that can help you. Uh, you need to have good mood before. If you, if you have all the angles uh, that 
a lot of problem that you have, haven't settled. I don't think you can good have a good sleep. Number 10, let go the electronics products before sleep. You see, now modern people, we like to take our handphone. Uh, before going to sleep, we always swipe here and there, checking WhatsApp, WeChat, Facebook. Uh, and we always do that. And then some interest story, and then you read, 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 until maybe uh, more than 11 p.m. or 12 or even 1 a.m. Uh, in fact, you once you want to go to sleep, you put this uh, electronics uh, handphone aside. Yeah, that's important. Uh, so poor living habits reduce sleep quality. That is true. So 10 points that bring to you. Hope you learn something from here. There is a saying, illness comes with a sign. Uh, this part is important you learn. Yeah, not only for yourself, for your relatives, your friends, your parents, all the elderly people, they may have this kind of signs. Even young children also, uh, uh, young, young, young people also have. Yeah. So for sickness after getting up, when you get up, you tend to have something some way wrong. Okay? If you wake up early in the morning, you feel dizziness, or maybe bong, maybe it's uh, bong hyperlysia. Chinese saying is gu zi zhen shen. Uh, it's something like a pinch and point somewhere on the spinal. Uh, that causes the dizziness. Maybe presence of cervicals, vertebral, or hyper viscosity disease it may be a uh, always say uh, a lot of uh, fat fat lipids or spinal some problem nerve system problem it may be that why that that, that cause you dizziness you need to maybe go to specialist to have a good check eh? why every morning i get up i feel dizzy why i properly uh, i don't have high blood pressure or low blood pressure why i have this dizziness Probably you have hyperlysia, probably it's because of cervical, spinal, something problem, or maybe your blood is too uh, sticky. Yeah, that's called fat lipids. So if swelling does not disappear after 20 minutes of waking up, it may be a sign of kidney or heart disease. You see, this is a sign. You see, if you wear a ring or you have some, uh, your wedding ring or you always put your ring, eh? If you loosen it and put it aside at night, the next morning you want to wear that ring. Normally you can't wear, you can't put it in your finger. Why? It's a little bit of swollen. That is normal. That is normal. But after waking up, after 20 minutes jalan here and there, you your food still swollen. Uh, then maybe a sign of kidney or heart disease problem okay the third if you wake him up in the morning if you nausea or vomiting you feel like you're vomiting i mean apart from uh, those who, who who are in pregnancy uh, well if you having this nausea or vomiting uh, vomiting waking up in the morning it may be a sign of chronic gastritis or liver gallbladder disease you see, a lot of people having this called liver problem or gallbladder stone problem. Uh, that's why when I look at their blood test report, I roughly know what is happening to them, uh, especially liver. You, you look at their uh, uh, ALT, AST, GGT, all this, uh, and then you check on their blood. Uh, you you know roughly what is happening to them. Okay, so four, number four, urinate in the morning. If the urine is brown, indicates possible liver problem. Brown, brownish color. What about if your urine is amber color? Huh? Amber color. Probably your cell is dehydrated. So you don't drink enough water. Eh? You check every single morning the first pee. You look at your toilet bowl and you check your urine. What is the colors? That is important. Yeah. So looking at your face in front of mirror, when you get up in the morning, you look in front of the mirror in the morning, 
If you find your face is fresh, hot fresh, it may be a sign of heart disease or hypertension. If you a little bit of reddish color, uh, a bit of red color, uh, you feel fresh, then probably it's heart disease or hypertension. And then if your face look yellow, yellowish in color and accompanied by physical fatigue, you feel very weak, uh, likely to be a jaundice hepatitis. Yeah. So these are the things. Then then you look you have to look at your uh this I would say eye, the white color. Probably if it is a yellowish, uh, then it probably is a jaundice. Yeah. If you find that your eyes had changed in color, uh, probably is hyperemia, turbidity, or yellow color, encourage to see doctor immediately. Uh, this is because your blood uh, is just like maybe it's a high blood, maybe your blood is, uh, uh, what I would say, fat lipids too much, very sticky, and then it causes your whole eyeball is like red color. You, I think you, you tend to see someone, uh, one time I see one Sifu, uh, uh, Kung Fu Sifu, uh, he have these eyes, I say, my goodness, I don't know, I scared that anytime <laughs> he, he, he will, he will be anytime getting stroke, you know, uh, so this is important, yeah, so if the eyes and face looks pale, it may be a sign of iron deficiency or anemia, uh, this mostly happened to a lot of ladies. Yeah, a lot of ladies. Yeah, if the face looks a little bit pale, right? Uh, probably it's a sign of iron deficiency or anemia. Uh, so if you have this problem, consult us or consult doctor. Yeah. So physical aura, mouth smelly, heavy breath. Well, we we sometimes we have bad breath, right? We have why. We must know why. Right? If bad breath occurs, breath is heavy, may be caused by what we call periodontal disease. It, it may be the cause of our mouth disease, your dental problem or gum, some uh, problem here and there, in front here and there, you don't know. You must go and see dentist. Yeah? At the same time, it may be a gastrointestinal disease or liver disease, or even diabetes, okay? So maybe a person is left of the trace element like zinc, B complex, and probiotics may cause bad breath also. The lack of trace element zinc, okay? So B complex, you see uh, some people having this called the mouth, yeah, the lips here, uh, like uh, a lot of uh, line crack, okay? very dry, they normally lack of vitamin B2, B2. So if you don't know, you just take vitamin B complex. So way to get this B complex, in Chaway Cell Pro, uh, which have one ingredient called AFA, we call as a uh, alpha zumino uh, algae, or algae, pronounced, American pronounced algae, I pronounce algae. So, that one is full of uh, balanced nutrients and then full of vitamin B, B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B12, okay, including folate acid, all the calcium, magnesium, manganese, all kinds, uh, e even including SOD. Um, we have this uh, glutathione in the cell pro. Uh, we have taurine. We have alginine. We have all the uh, non-essential amino acid and also non-essential amino acid. All we have it inside Cell Pro. So at least every morning, because every single meal we don't have good balance diet, every single morning before meal you consume one such a of Cell Pro is good enough. By me, I do it every day. Today I do it with uh, uh, in Chawel men. Uh, I mix it together with 500 ml. And then I do exercise, I drink slowly, yeah. So second point, if often accompanied by bearing decrease of hunger, stomach pain, it may be due to helicopylary bacteria. So a lot of people having this called help. Yeah? Once you got help, don't share your spoon, your chopstick or 
or, or bowls or plates with your family. Don't say, darling, you want one, I feed you, this and that. Don't do that. Because helicopter bacteria will spread easily. Like hepatitis A and C also same. Huh? So if often accompanied by very decrease of hunger, you feel very hungry all the time, right? and then you feel stomach pain, are uh, that properly? And helicopter another sign is you always feel burnt. All the time, but 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 but, and then properly is hep. Okay, so this is smile smelly signs of sickness due to food. If you always feel thirsty, go and check your sugar level or glucose tolerance. It may be a sign of diabetes. Like you drink a lot of water, you still feel thirsty. Drink and then you feel thirsty. Drink and then you feel thirsty. Yeah. You think that you already drink three liter and um, a three liter of water or four liter of water, but you still feel dirty. Then you better go and check your blood. Uh, go for blood test. Go for see whether your blood sugar level is 3.9, 6.1. That now the, the, the rate already uh, uh, change a bit already. Different age already different band. That day I just caught the, the, the different uh, what we say new new reading already. So if you wake up at 4 to 5 a.m. in the morning, come with a strong sense of palpitation and hunger, also feeling fatigue and weakness until the uncomfortable feeling and gradually disappear after breakfast, this may be a sign of diabetes too. Okay? So if you feel 4 to 5 a.m., you wake up, wake up and then you feel palpitation or you feel very kanchong uh, uh, and you feel hungry, very weak, uh, properly, is a sign of diabetes. So if you have abdominal pain, after eating greasy food, the pain continue and link to your right shoulder, it may be the sign of liver gallbladder disease. So you see, when people having this gallbladder stone, or they having, having the, the, the uh, gallbladder uh, disease or liver disease, they when they look at the greasy food, they also feel a light to vomit also. No? So if you have hyperappetite but weight loss, you may suffer a hyperthyroidism. You see, some most ladies, a lot of ladies, yeah, a lot of ladies, men also have this called hyper and hypothyroidism. So hyperthyroidism is too much of iodine. Hypo is short of iodine. That's why when people say they have this called uh what we say thyroid problem. I need to read their, 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 their blood test report to make sure that their TSH level, T3, T4 level is on the right manners. If not, then we will properly give the wrong, what we say, consultation. That's, uh, you know, that, that, that's why I'm very careful on this part. Huh? If you have hyper, hyper, huh? hyper appetite, you eat, 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 but you still lose your weight probably having this called hyperthyroidism. So if you have no appetite, seeing greasy food, you feel nausea and uh, fatigue, maybe suffering from hepatitis. You see, our body gives us a sign. So if you see greasy food, you feel vomit. Uh, that's why I say just now, we say liver problem. But, but this, I don't know, hepatitis A, B, C, D, E, F. I don't know which one is it. So there are 100 ways to maintain good health, okay? Important part here, but mostly not as good as grounding. No harm to try. So do you bear your foot on the glass, on the ground? If you do, I congratulate you. But you must go to the right ground. Eh? Why? Because it may be a lot of uh, pesticide, whatever the, 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 the glass is not clean enough or full of toxic, that is also bad for you. Uh, so it's good that you ground it with barefoot. Yeah, it's like ancient people, they don't even wear any slipper or shoe. Uh, now, wherever we go, we need to wear shoe slipper. If not, we cannot. Get used to it. I, I got a, a, a small temple, Indian temple here. 
the master here, I never see him wear any slipper or, or, or shoe at all. He just walk around this tamang area and then he pluck for flowers and go for praying. Uh, I always say hi, hi, hi to him. <laughs> uh, so he is already uh, 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 around 70 years old. Yeah. So light exercise is also one of the way to release tension, pressure, and stress. It does help on better sleep. So this part we talk about sleep, quality sleep. I believe you learned something from here. Yeah. So when you are getting old, well, we will get that stage, that age. Yeah. So you need to stay healthy all the time. Yeah. So I believe some of us here maybe we, we we don't have good sleep at all if you have insomnia problem deal with it as soon as possible why why you need to consult yeah so help and sleep which one is important yeah which one is important for me i said if you want to have good health yeah if you don't have good sleep can you have good health no way yeah so if you have good sleep, definitely uh, when you eat a lot of right, right food, uh, balanced diet, and then good exercise, and even good attitude towards life, you also have well have good health. Yeah. So look at this picture. Look carefully. From young to old, start to have wrinkles start to grow have the white hair we will go in this stage yeah so ringo will increase with age when you are at some age you have one line maybe 10 years two line 20 years three line or even look at your neck you know how many lines should be that age so i should be having six line <laughs> I should have having six time, but I don't look like I am having six time. Why? Rejuvenation, uh, rejuvenation. The right English word is aging. We slow down the aging. Can I do that? We can do that. Yeah, we can do that. Provide we must release uh, what we say. Um, we must really, really take care well. Well, we, we should give out a lot of uh, good, good, heavy duty food. I, just now I say, once in a while we'll do okay. You have to pamper yourself with good food. So free radicals are like human body terrorists, are related to aging and cancers and other sicknesses. Okay? So now we talk about free radicals. So tonight, the contents is talk about quality sleep, free radicals, and negative ion. So this is my second part of my presentation. So what is free radical? So you see, free. I, I do it in a very simple explanation. Yeah. When can we get free radicals? Even when you breathe, you have this called free radicals. You see, free radicals in our body. We have we say good and bad. No. How do we, what, what do you mean by good and bad? When, when you are having normal range of free radicals, it's good. Free radicals help to fight virus also. But when free radicals is too much, then it becomes bad. Okay? Just like our, our intestine, our gout, yeah? we have good and bad bacteria. So if you have too much of bad bacteria, your gut problem will go into a lot of problems. So if you balance up, then it's okay. Yeah? So how to balance up with this, uh, we say uh, free radicals. Later we talk about it more. Yeah? So when you eat a lot of uh, fried, oily, grilled food, uh, then you will increase your levels of free radicals. You see, a lot of people having sickness, they start to eat uh, medicine, uh, flu, eat medicine, cough, eat medicine, stomach pain, gastric problem, gut problem, this problem, that problem, they eat medicine. 
when they eat a lot of medicine, they create more free radicals. Okay, so pollution definitely uh, create a lot of free radicals. Even even your 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 bedroom, if you don't have good, yeah, what we say, uh, touch up this and that, or you keep a lot of uh, things inside your rooms, it may become uh, what we say the environment environmental problem that is within your room also, yeah. Smoking and excessive alcohol, yeah, will generate more free radicals. So even you take a lot of food with uh, no some additives, nice food tastes nice, but it create it generate more free radicals. Of course, radiation, yeah, it generate a lot of free radicals. Even stress, yeah, even exercise, will also create or generate free radicals. The most important is how to balance out the free radicals, then it will be okay, okay? So free radicals damage to the cells. I keep it simple, yeah? You see, free radicals will cause aging, will cause cardiovascular diseases, or even diabetes and cancer. And also gonadal disease, especially prostate, for men, yeah, problem. So you see, these are all this this sicknesses are all related to free radicals. Okay, so the normal adult body is composed of approximately yeah, forty to sixty trillions of cells. The normal vital signs of human body depends on stability of the cell level. Each cell is wrapped in a cell membranes okay we have this protection cell membranes is around 50 percent of we say omega 369 that's important that's a uh, good fats yeah which absorb nutrients through the membrane and eliminate the waste product the protection is there cell membrane okay but there are many negative ion on inside the cell membrane and many positive ion on the outside membrane okay so one is negative one is positive. So when the positive and negative ion are in balanced stage, the cell inside can function normally. So plus and minus must be balanced. So if you drive a car, your alignment is out. You always feel that your steering move to the left, move to the left. Okay, you say, maybe my tire no good. You go and change a new tire. Can you solve your problem? No, you had to go to mechanic. You say, why my steering key on moving to the left? So you check, check, check. Oh, your alignment out. You had to adjust the alignment and then make it balanced. Then you drive smoothly. Yeah. Same thing like our body cells. If everything going on balance stage, you everything will function normally. You're getting good health. Yeah. So pathological role of free radicals. Uh, these are the cause of the problem. In fact, many sinuses are related to free radicals. Yeah. Uh, recently, uh, one one female uh, members say, uh, "Tony Lao Shi, how to deal with these uh, wrinkles?" <laughs> okay. So because of age already, start to think about it already. So that's why we need anti-aging products. Yeah. Okay, we'll talk about it more later. Free radicals cause cell damage. So good healthy cell is here on the left. And then cell damage by free radicals in the middle. Okay, oxidation process. What is oxidation? You see, if you have a new nail, new nail, okay, you put on the basin. And then you put a drip of water. Next day, you come and see that new nail. Is the new nail become brownish color? If yes, it's called oxidation. If you cut an apple into half, just a few seconds away, then you see the brownish color start to grow on the white inner side, the, 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 the meat, we say. Uh, that is called oxidation. How to solve this oxidation problem? The nail, you, 
you apply with oil, then you soft it. Then you won't, uh, the oxidation won't take place. The apple, you just apply a, a salt. Or maybe you, you apply a lemon, you squeeze a lemon juice on top of it, then you will soft the oxidation. Of course, after some time, the oxidation will continue to take place again. Definitely. Yeah. That's why when, when you put your veggie in your fridge, why why we can't decay? Why? The oxidation. Yeah. Same thing goes to us human cells. Okay. So keep it simple. Yeah. This is free radicals. Lack of one, what you say, electron. No more cell. No more cell is plus minus pairing. Good. Once loss of electron, free radicals. This is the one. Yeah. So when free radicals building out, generate more in your body, they start to attack of normal cell. They start to steal the electron from it. Once steal one, two, three, it will pair up more and more. And then you will aggregate and accumulate, and then they will go to one place, one area, then build up their castle. Properly, it becomes a tumor. And then after continuously, if you don't continue to take care of yourself, uh, it becomes malignant or cancer. Yeah, that is the stage, the normal stage. Yeah. According to the research, one cm, uh, one cm of cancer cells uh, is minimum ten years general minimum, uh, minimum. So normally it's fifteen or twenty years. Like diabetes patient, high blood pressure, they 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 cannot be uh, just few months and then they they they, they got this hypertension or uh, uh, diabetes. No, it, it built along is minimum ten to fifteen twenty years. Uh, we eat a lot of junk food. We, we, we don't have a good, what we say, uh, 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 living standard. We, our, our lifestyle change, this and that. We feel a lot of uh, headache, uh, stress, uh, tension, pressure, this and that. And it costs along the way. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the best way to resist oxidation is you taking a lot of antioxidant, antioxidant. So, Free radicals will balance out, and then you start to build a healthy cell. Okay, I give you another example. If you are, are having birthday uh, today, today, today is uh, 5th of November, year 2021. If, if if today is your birthday, you invite your friends, relatives, 50 couples, 50 couples, yeah. You have the dance night, right? You have a good night. But suddenly a handsome man come to your house or to, to the ballroom. Yeah. So he's he when he he, he come to 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 your this uh, what we say uh uh birthday celebration without your inv invitation. So what will happen? When he comes, so you still need to welcome him. Correct or not? But when you want to dance, you will say, hey, come, ladies, dance with me. He probably will pull your wife, your girlfriend, this and that. And then he start to make problems. <laughs> Suppose this uh, birthday party will be a good party become, I would say, because of him, create a lot of problems. So what you need to do is, uh, you call a lady to come eh? and then pay with him. So he got the dancer. Eh? I got the partners. Eh? Then will be okay. Yeah. So positive, negative, positive, negative. Yeah. That will be okay. Yeah. So this is how we deal with this, uh, 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 what we say, a uh, free radicals or any kind of uh, oxidation. So the best way resist oxidation, you see antioxidants. What is antioxidant? Vitamin A, C, E, Q10, 
a lot of uh, what we say SOD, GSH, glutathione, uh, GSH is glutathione. So a lot of uh, antioxidant are good no, to really helps to cool down this we call free radicals. So here it say is to supply a steady string of negative ions. And we'll talk about it soon. Eh? So body balance mechanism, free radicals, elimination, antioxidant, the amount of free radicals. Eh? So you need to make it balance out. Then you won't having any health problem. Yeah. So how to fight free radicals? Do more light exercise. Keep out good spirit and stay happy. Okay, this is one way. You need to do exercise three to five times a week. Uh, keep out good spirit, positive mental attitude all the time. Stay happy. We tend to have bad mood sometimes. Well, you need to get up and then solve all the problem and then stay happy again. Yeah, eat antioxidant food in balanced way. So. What is antioxidant food? Like our incha gut, incha gut, we have four raw material in one. Yeah, this incha gut, I have it here. I just ate one just now. Okay, I just ate one just now. We have three colors. You see, incha gut, we have this called inside contents of 20 different types of berries. Yeah, and then passion fruit extract, pumpkin seed, extract and then we have this uh, all the fruits and vegetables uh, we call python nutrients that is wonderful antioxidant All right so i know vitamin c is yes in fact this is good good enough yeah so taking enough trace elements strengthen the body antioxidant enzyme system okay just now i mentioned already you need to have uh, probably uh, some, uh, we say, uh, manganese, uh, all kind of, uh, uh, what we say, minerals and trace elements. In fact, our body need 20. So I encourage you to take, uh, what we say, uh, cell pro, which is good enough balanced nutrients. Or we say vitamins, 18 vitamins, 20 minerals. Uh, omega 3, 6, and with this, uh, uh, all the essential amino, non-essential amino acid, in fact, it's all inside the cell pro. It's very good enough. A lot of people having this uh, gut problem, then you need to have incha gut. Why? Uh, we need good, uh, what we say, bacteria or probiotics inside for our gut system. Yeah. And then the fourth is uh, negative ions. So how to fight free radicals? These are the four points. Uh, do more light exercise, exercise, keep up good spirit and stay happy. Eat and antioxidant in balanced way. Uh, and uh, this is a slow down aging process also. Take in enough trace elements, strengthen the body antioxidant enzyme system. And then the fourth one is negative ion. Now we talk about negative ions. So when you enter a very crowded place, how do you feel? Uh, I remember in 1982-83 when I studied in Kuala Lumpur. You know? So I stay at Cheras. And then we, we, I, I always go to Pudu to take bus or going anywhere to take bus. Always so crowded. Always so packed in the bus. So whether mini bus or, or those bigger bus, you feel that you feel uncomfortable. You are squeezed in the bus. <laughs> I don't know why the, the, the authority allowed it to. <laughs> that's, that's in KL. And then you know KL, Kuala Lumpur, uh, bad traffic jam. Uh, so when you enter a crowd, how do you feel? Uh, normally, you feel shortness of uh, breath, shortness of breath, or probably you're feeling chest tightness. You don't feel uh, good. You feel very uncomfortable because of lack of oxygen level, right? In fact, it's called lack of negative ion. 
So prove that negative ion is very, very low. So this is now we talk about negative ion. When you go to waterfall or forest or very village area, kampong area, then you feel very fresh. Why? Full of negative ions. I remember I, 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 I stay two nights, three days, two nights at this, uh, we call Gunung Emas, somewhere near Tangkat to Moa, that side, the road. I, I stay two nights there. And then we bring the tent up to the hill. You now we stay, and then oh, I remember I, 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 I we bring drinks alone, no, uh, uh, like um, Maggi Me, all this. Uh, we cook there. We use the stream, the waterfall water. Cook so nice. The meal is so nice, so taste tasty. And then we put our uh, our drinks inside the the waterfall. It's so cozy, no. And then when you sleep there, you feel so fresh. When you climb the mountain, you still feel very, very good. Feel good. Feel fresh. Why? Because of full of negative ion. So after the thunderstorm, also having a lot of, well, we say negative ion. That is the normal nature discharge. Uh, this is important. So what is negative ion? Negative ion refers to oxygen ion. They are negatively charged by gaining excess electron so it is formed by combining free electrons with oxygen molecule in the air in fact negative ion was found in uh, year 1889 under two german scientists okay they found out that a hey, negative ion in the air okay so natural ne electrical discharge huh? we call lightning Phenomena and waterfall ionize the surrounding air to form negative oxygen ions. Okay, so negative ions is known as vitamin oxygen, longevity, elements, elements, and air vitamin in a medical field. So this is what we see on the picture, vitamin oxygen. Okay, A vitamins, longer elements so these are the nature nature eh? so what is negative ion? negative ions are considered to be the vitamins in the air blood scavenger and cell activator so for those people who are under stress a lot of sickness probably they have three high and then probably they have cancers bad mood I encourage them to go to seaside waterfall uh, uh, what we say jungles or even uh, 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 what we say kampong kampong village area that will be good you feel good when you go to waterfall side area you feel so good you feel very fresh when you go to seaside right uh, of course that seaside must be clean <laughs> okay so so what is the role of negative ion? It can adjust the balance of the human body, promote the realization of human body cells and, and mind. Yeah? Activate cells, inhibit body aging, and improve the body cell healing function. So it is regarded as the add nutrients in the medical field. So we have seven nutrients. Now we have another one, eight. That is called negative ion. Yeah, so this is under medical field. They say that uh, you know the vitamin oxygen, uh, vitamins or longer the uh, longevity uh, elements. Okay, so principle or negative ions. So they 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 start to change. You see, the principle of negative ions is mainly because of negative ions have the outstanding effect of antioxidant and anti aging effect. So this is the most important. You see, antioxidant, anti-aging. So if you have a lot of anti-aging products, you take, take balance and uh, anti-aging products, you will, uh, what we say, the rejuvenation start to take place. Okay, so this, this is the important part. 
And then if you feel with uh, a lot of uh, negative ion all the while, so a lot of free radicals will be balanced out and it will stay calm so you won't create the problems. Right? This is important. Yeah. So we want to have negative ion more instead of positive ion more. So best is balanced. Another study is like that. One free radicals, okay, one free radicals. If you have three negative ions, it can help these free radicals to become liquefied and discharge of them from the body. That is the new studies that recently I do research on it. So it is true. Yeah? So you, you can't see negative ions. You can't see. Some people say, can you, how do you prove? You see, you see, you you cannot see the wind, but you can see the wind doing the job, right? Blowing against a tree, right? You cannot see the oxygen, but you need to have oxygen to live on, right? So a lot of things that we can't see, but it's there. there there's a force there you can't see, yeah. So you see, if there is uh, electrons of lipids are rock and oxidized, there's a pigmentation going on when we are getting old. It's Definitely we have pigmentation. So in the electrons of the proteins are robbed, if the electrons of the protein are robbed, the cell function is disrupted. Uh, disrupted. If the electrons of the gene are robbed, it will become cancer. That's a normal. Yeah. So free radicals attack on us all the time, but you can't see it at all. Yeah. So what are the benefits of negative ion to the body? Medical research show that negatively charged particles in the air can increase oxygen content in the blood. First is oxygen content in the blood facilitate the transport, absorption, and utilization of blood oxygen. So promote human metabolism, improve human immunity, and enhance human muscle energy. You see, if you have enough negative ion so simple as that your blood circulation will be good your transport of uh, uh, oxygen level in the blood is good enough and then you will feel good that's why a lot of people having we say fatigue very weak body uh, for those who are really sick you know they they their energy level is very low they, their blood inside their blood string and they don't carry enough oxygen yeah probably the blood circulation also slow according to the textures research negative ion have inhibitory relieving and auxiliary treatment effects on more than a dozen uh, human system and nearly 30 diseases especially their health care effects uh, so there, there, there are a lot of studies. You can do some uh, research. You do some search on Google. Uh, then it will tell you a lot of things. So these are the things talk about uh, uh, helping our neck respiratory system, nerve system. Okay. I just roughly go through digestive system and others. Uh, others mean, you see, in addition, negative ion also have important improving effects on the endocrine system and metabolic system, immune system, blood system, exercise system, system skin, and, and other diseases. Uh, with the, this role, the negative ions are known as an air vitamin. You see, they are main function. So no need to go to one by one. Yeah? So you see, you go to different area, you have different concentration of uh, what we say negative uh, ion. So you see, if you go to the uh, room in urban residential, 40 inducing physical disorder, causing headache, insomnia, uh, and then this is very low, causing air and conditioner. You see, most of us, when we work, we stay in the aircon room. When you sleep, you stay in the aircon room. So do you think your office, your environment, your, your, your room, your bedroom have a lot of uh, negative ion? 
No, not at all. So can you bring this uh, negative ion from the waterfall side or from the jungle to your room? Can you do that? So these are the research done forest waterfall area. You see 100,000 to 500,000 mountain seaside. Uh, this is 50,000 to 100,000. Uh, countryside 5,000 to 50,000. So these are the relationship, you see recovery and healing power. That's why I say if you have three high cancers, you go to that area, you feel fresh, everything, a lot of sinners were gone. No? Sterilization, reduce disease transmission, enhance human, human immunity, uh, have antibacterial properties. So these are the things. So can you bring waterfall or jungle side or seaside negative ion to your bedroom? Can you? So this one I need to recommend to you the negative ion waterfall blanket. So we say full of air nutrition. I have it here. Yeah, I have it here. Can you see? Oh, because of uh, uh can't see yeah, uh, because of the the, the what we say filter, yeah. So I also have it here. Uh, this one, uh this one can see. <laughs> this is the 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 waterfall blanket that I use. So you see. When you sleep seven to eight hours, can you sleep with full of negative ions? That's important. Like I say, can you bring the waterfall, jungle side, seaside negative ion to your room? So in Chawe company can help you to do that with this called negative ion waterfall blanket. The size is uh, 170 times 220 cm so it's good enough for two person yeah or queen size bed yeah so if 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 you uh, uh use this you will know what is the feeling so normally if those don't have good sleep it will it will help you on that sleep if you have this problem that problem aching here and there properly will help you but for those people who have this call who like to eat a lot of meat heavy duty food heavy food if their body is too acidic when you they use their this uh what I say uh waterfall blanket negative ion waterfall blanket a lot will be discharged to the blankets and the blanket will become very smelly so you need to wash it all the time. So we encourage people to wash it uh, more often in the beginning stage. Then it will help you to uh, bring you to have a more negative ion on the blankets to your body. So it's, it's a touching, it's a contact, uh, like infrared contact with your body create negative ions. Okay. Just like a sunshine shine on you to create negative ion cannot yes can create vitamin d3 yes okay so that that there is sometimes the nature itself you cannot believe in it but now we deal with it in a very high tech way that's why high tech way can solve a lot of problems also so because we cannot stay and live at the waterfall side seaside Unless you are you, your kampong is there, that will be good. You move back from your city to 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 the kampong area, village area, that will be good. Uh, but if you already stay at the city area for a long time, if you uh, if I ask you to move back to your kampong area, I don't think you you are willing to do that, okay? Because you feel that the city area more enjoy life, yeah? Okay. So this is the our our negative ion blanket. We when you weigh, uh, when you uh, sleep on it, huh? when, you, when you cover with this uh, negative ion waterfall blanket, uh, some are having different kind of reaction. Huh? Some feel weak in the morning, uh, in, in the beginning, and feel fatigued, in a, and then slowly, then will be okay. 
it's, it's just like a discharge off us. It make you to have low energy first and then come back again. Okay? After some time. Uh, so I encourage people when you use this uh, negative ion water blanket, you need to drink a low water. Warm water. No ice water. Sorry. Yeah? Um, for those who have sensitive skin may have create some kind of uh, reaction, make you more itchy in the beginning. Uh, uh, just now I mentioned if those who are meat eater, uh, the, 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 you, your, your sweating uh, will be a, a little bit of a smell, uh, bad smell. Uh, uh, that's normal. That's normal to discharge off. Uh, so excretion reaction, uh, the waste come out. Uh, you have a big batch properly. The stools is black in color. Urine color changes, uh, maybe with some bubbles. That is normal in the beginning stage. Yeah, that is common, very normal. Yeah, that's why I say you need to drink a lot of warm water. Remember that. Uh, how much is enough warm water? Um, your body weight times 40. Let's say you are 60 kg time 40 is 2.4 liter. So if, if you use this uh, negative ion water blanket, you need to drink at least extra 500 ml more. Just like you do exercise. When you exercise, you sweat more, you drink more extra more water, even go to extra 500 to one liter of water. Yeah. So some, some having this called pain response, uh, dizziness, is normal. After some times, it will be okay. Yeah? It's a normal healing reaction. Yeah. So this is totally different. You see the food that uh, we say dietitian give you some uh, food, uh, some uh, functional food, the products. If you have pain, it will. It cannot stop the pain immediately. One cannot. It's not a painkiller. Okay, it's not a painkiller, but it will help you to ease your problem slowly and then recover. The root, the problem is there. It will help you to heal the root. Uh, that is the normal. Whatever your body needs, you give the right things, you will solve the problem automatically. Uh, if you uh, give uh, foreign things to your body, mm -mm, your, uh, your body cells don't need it, you give toxic to your body, definitely you'll get poisoned. Yeah. So our brain get all tested. So this is called enemies uh, dye stuff. We, we, we scared that the, these uh, colors may cause some problem here and there. We tested them. Uh, it's super safe. Uh, it's super safe okay so they won't probably first time you wash uh, you feel that your uh you must wash it when you use uh you bring back home the new one you must wash it you you see the 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 water color a, a, a little bit of uh uh what we say dirty it's normal right from the factory yeah so second wash is very clean already so these are the side effect of the amines uh, dyes so all listed here uh, all listed here, but it's not detected. Yeah? So it's very, very safe. That's why our our company, the, the boss, the management, they 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 really go and test it. You know? Even our this uh negative ion blanket, we have this 10 million ringgit insurance liability, you know. Amazing. Uh, so like Carcinogenic allergy, uh, this part. you see some people weigh some cloth and uh, they feel allergy also. Sorry, we this all we don't have. So it's very tested, it's safe. Pass, okay, pass. Huh? Even uh, flammability, uh, cigarette testing. If if you burn uh, this uh, uh, negative eye water uh, bed sheet, uh, blanket, uh, blanket, uh, sorry, it won't just like flammable. If you if you burn on a normal uh or we say uh cloth, it will burn. But this one no. 
tonight. Of course, I can't test it. Lah, okay. Uh, next time we test it together. Uh, that day, our 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 this uh, president uh, giving a speech. Uh, he tested it on the spot. Uh, many times we tested. Is confirmed. Eh? Is infallible. Uh, so it's uh, proven to be a very good quality, high standard quality. So short chains of uh, chlorinated uh, paraffin, all these are tested. Huh? So if you ask me, oh, like this one uh, is the TU uh, test. Huh? This one had to stand to foreign country to test it. It's not from Malaysia test. Uh, it's not uh, like you, you want to test some food. Uh, Malaysia don't have it, the test. So my presentation is uh, ended here. Thank you. Uh, now is uh, nine thirty. If you have any question, uh, you can uh, throw to me. I do my very best to answer you. Uh, just now we have fifty-two people. Uh, now it's having forty-five people. Thank you for, I would say, uh, still listening. So I stop recording and then we start to ask questions. Eh?